Get that money, dummy, do it for the love And I'm hungry, did I mention money? Cop cars, now I need that airplane money Harley laugh in the ghetto, being broke ain't funny We built for this homie, yeah, we run the streets You see me everywhere, Judah, tucking the heat I'm Yo, a rap for the hustlers, put my life on this beat We all we got we have reached a point in boxing, bros, where we are back to making predictions for fights, and it feels so good. It has been so long uh, since we've been able to get excited for a fight, to watch a fight. Last week, well, this Saturday felt like the first Saturday where boxing was really back. And next Saturday is going to solidify it with Dillian White versus Alexander Provekin. And we're here to make predictions for the fight. Uh, I'm going to show you Dillian White's Instagram in which he said seven days to go. I can't wait to step back in the ring again. Make sure you guys don't miss it. It's going to be an all-out war, this I promise. That's from Dillian, the body snatcher White. It is now time to make predictions. I will start this one off with Ned. Who you got? Man, listen, yo. We got Dillian, we got Pavekin. We, we got the whole can team. <laughs> we got a lot of crazy stuff going on. I don't even know what to expect. Yo, boxing looking real different without the crowd, yo. You know, I see I see certain fighters need that energy to feed off of when the crowd screams, yo. And let me tell you this. When Pad step in the ring. He had different beats. But, you know, they say, they testing this match. So I'm going to go with my boy Dillian. And he's going to come out. He's going to come out. If if he stay, if he's training like he he's he been showing he's been training, he's going to come out on top victorious. But, you know, I, 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 got, I got Dillian in this fight. That's it. All right, Trill Dollar Bill, who you got? Now, Trill, actually, before you uh, go, we had a segment and you weren't here. Um, in which um, Frank Warren was saying how Tyson Fury is not going to fight Dillian White in 2000 and he's not going to fight Dillian White in 2001. Uh, Frank Warren said they can make the fight with Joshua without the WBC belt. But basically, Frank Warren doesn't want uh, Dillian White to get the fight with Tyson Fury. You weren't here for that segment, but seeing as though you're here now, and uh, you typically enjoy our Dillian White discussions. I figured I'd give you a chance to chime in on that. Poor Dillian. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to add? Poor Dillian. <laughs> what I'd like to add is this. Told you so. They're going to do everything. <laughs> Well, Trill, it's nice to have you back. Who you got uh, on the uh, Dillian White versus Alexander Provekin uh, prediction? I got, I got my man Dillian. I'm going Dillian all the way. Um, but here's the thing. The irony behind all this, right? <laughs> the WBC says, you know, after that fight, they're going to make it happen. And Dillian White, say Dillian White goes through all this mess, right? And then the irony, he ends up losing. Oh, it's not going to happen. But if it happens, if he slips on his shoelace and Pavekin catches him at the same time. <laughs> it's the heavyweight division. It's the heavyweight division. The irony that is his relationship with the WBC definitely starts all over again. You know what I'm saying? He at least got to the front porch that he's hollering at the window at her. You know what I'm saying? He's yelling at the window, hey, baby, please take me out on a date. <laughs> he, got, he got a date, though. <laughs> the date is, is so far away. <laughs> he said, yeah, 1990, never. <laughs> <laughs> In May, May the day never happened. <laughs> you do a dilly wrong, but I got dilly, I got dilly a minute. <laughs> they playing some dirty games up. They just don't like Dillian. I don't know what he did. They just don't like him. Poor Dillian. Poor Dillian. All right, G. Yeah, um, I'll say this. Obviously, I got Dillian. But prior 
prior to this whole pandemic, I would have said Dillian by round four knockout because Povetkin's last few performances hasn't been like the best, you know. Um, and if this and kind of what uh, Ned was saying, if this is a clean fight, meaning they both tested, Povetkin's too old, bro. Like he he slowed down a lot. He that that Russian Mike Tyson style ain't there no more, you know. And so I think Dillian, as long as Dillian comes in shape. Dillian can take him out. But these are the few issues that I do have that or may not even be issues, but things to consider. Dillian's working with a whole completely new trainer, so that could be an issue. But I still don't see Pavekin beating him, you know? And so I got Dillian White, and I, I'm I'm be pretty descriptive with my uh prediction. Eighth round knockout, left hook to the face. That's how Dillian White's gonna beat him. Well, this is 2020. Nothing makes sense in 2020. Um, expect the unexpected. You see all types of crazy things, just not just in life, but in boxing. Um, I do believe that Alexander Provekin is a talented fighter. He brings power, he brings skill, and he's a durable guy. In his last fight with Michael Hunter, I felt like Michael Hunter had him hurt badly. I believe that he used smelling salt in his corner because I saw it. Now, I mean, this is my beef with the zone. If I actually had access to DVR it and do certain things, I can pull it up to you the exact moment where I saw them going like this to him. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's, uh, it reminds me of uh, the Adrian Brono Marcos Madonna fight where you saw them going like this to my dad, and I'm just like, that's not a natural act in boxing. <laughs> like, either you're going in there, or you, it, there was no blood, there was no nothing, and they were, and, were, and I believe they used smelling salts in that. I mean, smelling salt in that, in that. Part. It's boogers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, and in Marcos Madonna always says he never want to fight Adrian Broner again. It's a guy he never want to fight again. Um, and we can get into that, but but getting back to this, I do believe that Provecan used smelling salts in there. Now, I say I believe, right, to separate boxing bros from any other channel, I don't have any evidence. I don't have any proof. I didn't speak to any doctor. I just say my eyes saw something that looked like a man using smelling salts to help Alexander Provecan get his wits about him. That's what it looked like to me. My personal knowledge, based on what I know about smelling salts and using, it's, it looked like that to me. Um, so knowing that, he's fighting the body snatcher, Dillian White, a guy who's bigger, a guy who I believe is more powerful, um, and who has beaten better opponents in a heavyweight division than Michael Hunter. So naturally, I lean towards um, Dillian White, mainly because of, what I saw from Alexander Provekin in his last performance against uh, Michael Hunter. I genuinely believe that this is going to be Alexander Provekin's last hurrah. Some people go out nicely in their last hurrah, but I believe this is going to be Alexander Provekin's last hurrah, and I think he's going out on his back from a left hook by Dillian White. That's what I believe. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with G. Harry, but when G said with the prediction, you don't, G, you don't think it's gonna happen sooner. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why, yo, it's because of this whole quarantine situation. Yeah, you know what I mean, so I'm like, I don't know. You know what I mean? So if it wasn't for that, I would have said fourth round knockout. You know, left hook. But right now, man, quarantine life. So. Into Pavekin's corner. Learn how to hide that better. <laughs> <laughs> please like and subscribe let us know how you feel please like and subscribe and check us out on instagram twitter and facebook it's the boxing bros i want to see what's on your mind you want to see what's on my mind all the time i want to know if you want to be mine you want to know if you can be mine all the time i want to see what's on your mind you want to see what's on my mind